Welcome to ProWebcast News, where we bring you daily industry updates. Today is Thursday, July 22nd, and you're watching the Afternoon Update with Paul Wilson. Today's news is sponsored by Game Plan Financial. Every game has a winner. Every winner has a game plan. For more information, please visit GamePlanFinancial.com. Now for today's headlines. The Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, this week unanimously adopted rules to redesign Form ADV Part 2, the primary disclosure document provided by advisors to their clients. While many believe the redesign will be a major step in assisting consumers who are searching for an advisor, others are concerned with the advisor's decisions about how much information to reveal. The new rules would require advisors to provide prospects and clients with a brochure containing information on 18 separate areas of their practices before engagement contracts are signed. In addition, advisors would be required to provide the SEC with occasional updates of the information for public viewing on the SEC's website. Many advisor groups contend that the new narrative form will be easier for investors to decipher than the check-the-box format used previously. In regulatory news, the Federal Reserve is prepared to take further steps to ease monetary policy should the current economic recovery stall, according to Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke. Bernanke described the forecast as unusually uncertain, but added that policymakers expect sustained growth to continue despite a recent softening in the economy. Quote, we remain prepared to take further policy actions as needed to foster a return to full utilization of our nation's productive potential in a context of price stability, unquote. Bernanke said that the central bank will continue, quote, prudent planning for, for the ultimate withdrawal of monetary policy accommodation, unquote. The Fed has held interest rates close to zero since December 2008, while bringing more than $1.5 trillion in mortgage and treasury bonds to battle the recession and financial crisis. While the economy has grown for the past year, it is still hampered by high unemployment, instability in the housing market, and a sluggish manufacturing sector. In housing news, U.S. existing home sales fell to a three-month low in June, although the number of unsold homes reached its highest point in nearly a year according to the National Association of Realtors, or NAR. Sales for the month fell 5.1% to an annual rate of 5.37 million units. Meanwhile, approximately 3.99 million homes were for sale at the end of June, a level that would take approximately 8.9 months to deplete at the current sales pace. According to NAR economist Lawrence Yoon, the inventory of homes could rise higher than a 10-month supply in the next few months, as the pace of sales for homes under contract has slowed. An increase in inventory could push prices down if the higher supply continues for an extended period of time. I'm Paul Wilson, and thanks for watching ProWebcast News. For more in-depth news and features, visit ProducersWeb.com.